The Israel Defense Forces military magazine published an analytical text from an expert on modern warfare. It is devoted to the topic of the use of reconnaissance and attack copters in the Russian-Ukrainian war. I will give you a brief summary of the main points of this paper. Top Western military commanders are paying increased attention to the issue of copters capable of carrying a grenade, mine or bomb and dropping them accurately and precisely on the enemy. In 2015, Israeli Lieutenant Colonel Yaniv Minkov published a scientific paper titled Flying Surprises of the Next War, in which he accurately described the future use of small copters for reconnaissance and strikes. Copters that carry mines are as game-changing a weapon as the first anti-tank guided missiles once were. At the beginning of their use, like any such weapon, not to perceive in full the seriousness and danger. The very fact that it is the civilian models of quadro or multipotas that will be used was ignored. The use of such strike copters in the Russian-Ukrainian war is an unprecedented and massive phenomenon, and the civilian copters themselves, after some minor army modifications, turned out to be an extremely dangerous and formidable weapon. Copters differ from standard unmanned aerial vehicles in their cheapness and massiveness. It proved to be the ideal weapon for full-scale warfare, where large masses of forces and equipment play an important role. Due to their small size, the copters are difficult to detect, this allows virtually any individual to possess such weapons. Copters in the Russian-Ukrainian war reached their peak of use. The constant carousel of reconnaissance copters provides a continuous picture of the battlefield in real time. The importance of disguise is diminishing, the soldiers are more open, they can easily be detected. Copters with mines exert enormous psychological pressure on the enemy, demoralizing him and suppressing the will to resist. It is important to understand that today a fighter on the battlefield is constantly surrounded by threats and they are constantly waiting for him at 360 degrees around him. The strengths of the copters, cheapness, ease of operation, quality picture in real time, compactness and mobility, as well as the ability to strike hard to hide from, stealth, use of third-party civilian applications, availability and ease of munitions production, and the ability to build a kamikaze drone cheaply. These strengths more than compensate for any shortcomings and weaknesses, such as a short range. Conclusions and cautions for the Israel Defense Forces based on the analysis of the war in Ukraine, and I would specify that this is how any possible war of the present day will unfold. In the coming war, Israel's enemies will inevitably use the copters massively to attack the rear of the Israeli army. The strikes will be carried out precisely in the areas where Israeli troops are concentrated, before they move into the zones of deployment into battle. Israeli troops are more likely to be visible to the enemy, even when the terrain is difficult. Copters with mines will affect the morale of Israeli fighters. Next is a recommendation on how to protect fighters from such copters, but this part I will not speak for obvious reasons.